Okay, everybody. Um, this is a little kind of quick little video on how to replace this guy, the hydraulic selector on a Coyote NX4510. This is the second time I've had to replace this in about 1,400 uh, runtime hours. And uh, I'm making this video because last time I replaced it, I couldn't find a video. I found a video where a guy said um, that it was tricky, like a Rubik's Cube, and that's kind of the understatement of the year. But I kind of figured out how to do it, looking at all the other videos and uh, just kind of thinking my way through it. So basically what you need to do is, so this hole here is normally filled with this guy. So you'll have, of course, this thing with your selector do that on top. Chances are it's kind of buggered up because things are wearing out because that's why you're replacing it. So doesn't matter what you do, you will not be able to get that old piece of crap off without taking this thing out. So underneath here uh, is an Allen key. So you can see it. I've got it. It's not in there right now, but it was in there. So you just stick your Allen key in there, take off the, pull it out. Then, okay, so then once you've got that Allen key out, you need to take these two guys and you need to remove these nuts here, which are normally threaded onto here. And you need to basically back the nuts off and then one of them, or then both of them need to get threaded so they're up as high as they can get. And chances are this is where it's failed. So once it's, once it's off and your Allen keys are there, you can this will pop up and you can boojiggy it around and get it out of your broken piece of crap here. Okay, so now once you've got that thing off, now you take this guy, or take one of them, doesn't matter which one, and thread it all the way down while the other one is all the way up. And then once you've got that, let's see if I could do this one-handed. I doubt it, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, then you kind of pop this thing back on and holy crap, it's a Christmas miracle. Okay, so I got that thing on there. So now, once you've got that done, you screw this guy all the way back up. I'm gonna pause it and do that because nobody wants to watch me do that. Okay, boom, there we go. It's all the way up. Now you can see I got both of these up as high as they can go. So now, one-handed, you take this guy, you try to stuff it back in here and I'm sorry this is going to look like the Blair Witch Project on tractor mechanics um, okay you do some more magic we'll pause back in a second with it fixed boom there it is in there okay so it took a little we'll call it finesse it's in there so now you basically take your allen key screw it back in there uh, get all these grooves lined up so that this little metal hoinky thing here will lock them if you need it. And then you know you got the right heights. And uh, yeah, and then stick it all back together. But uh, basically, there you go. Under four minutes, I uh, saved you, uh, hopefully saved you, a couple hours of buggering around. Thanks. Have a great day.